These are the best sleep deprivation studies I've read and have really informed my opinion. And we're gonna focus on those studies that looked at sleep deprivation and its effects on muscle and body fat. Okay, the first study I'm gonna summarize is about sleep deprivation and body fat. In this study, young females and males lived in a research facility for 21 consecutive days, two different times. That means they lived in the research facility for a total of 42 days. Now, during each stay, they had 14 days of either sleep deprivation or normal sleep. During each trial, there was a few days before and a few days after thing to do some um, assessments. The subjects were split into two groups. Half of the subjects went to the research facility and for 14 days, they were living, let's say, in a sleep deprived condition. Then there was a three month washout period and they came back to the lab and then they had 14 days of normal sleep time. The other half of the subjects had the reverse order. They started with a normal sleep time, had a washout period, and then they came back and were subjected to sleep deprivation. When the subjects were sleep deprived, they were allowed to sleep or the amount of sleep that they got was only about four and a half hours per night. When they were allowed to sleep normal, they had eight hours of sleep per night. Now let's talk about food intake because this is very important when you look at body fat changes. The subjects were allowed to eat whatever they wanted during their stays in the research facility. Scientists call this ad libitum. So the subjects had unrestricted access to food. They could eat as much or as little food as they wanted. At the end of the trial, the researchers observed that the subjects who were sleep deprived during the sleep deprived treatment, they consumed 300 more calories on average each day. Now remember, this was a crossover study. So all of the subjects did both the sleep deprivation and the normal sleep trial. So when these same subjects were sleep deprived, they consumed a lot more food. So it's no surprise that they gained body weight. But what I wanna focus on in this study was what happened to their abdominal body fat. We have subcutaneous fat, which is the fat right underneath our skin. Again, it's what we can pinch. We also have something called visceral fat, which is a deeper fat. This is the fat that is around our internal organs. So around our pancreas, intestines, kidneys. 